Hi everybody, it's Julie here and I am back with a new book journal entry. This time it's about the autobiography by Ag Agatha Christie. Um, yeah, so for those who know me, you know that I am a big fan of Agatha Christie and uh, for Christmas my aunt gave me her uh, autobiography and I have been reading it and it's been really really fun um, and it's uh, the best part has to be that there's actually a code in the book where you can download um, her recording part of her book um, as she sort of uh, became a writer she started to um, like record her voice and then have somebody like just transcribe it and it is amazing to hear her speak and yeah that is really really fun so um yeah the book uh, or my journal entry here i thought about it and how i was going to sort of portray it and then i decided to start with a background and i just tore up some book pages to really emphasize the book feel and I just tore them up and then sort of lay them um, sort of like you lay a floor we have a little bit in between but because they're imperfect some have more and some have less but I just really like the light feel of this sort of collage look and then I decided to I mean when I think of Agatha Christie, I of course think about Poirot and Miss Marple, but I really wanted this to focus more on the feel that I got when I wrote, when I read the book. And what she really emphasized when she was talking in her book was all the travels that she made and together with her husband, and he was an archaeologist, archaeologist, anyway, uh, and they traveled a lot like in um, the Far East and I just the way she described it and I could really tell that she loved being there and I really want to focus on that so I have these traveler's notebook um, sort of stamp looking stickers and I decided to pull out the ones that I sort of felt uh, matched what I had read so we have some Egypt and we have some tents that I think sort of remind of archaeology and we also have a little stamp if you look up on the right side um, there is I, th I think it is Joseph and Mary on a donkey and I picked that because she describes in the book um, that she and Max travel by donkey one time and that was awful <laughs> so I just I thought that was perfect um, but yeah, I really wanted to look like sort of a messy desk where just things were ended up. Uh, and I'm going to use these labels by Tim Holtz too. I'm going to use a gold with white and then I'm going to use one with gold with black. And all I'm going to do really is... Uh, well, here I'm thinking I want to write I got a Christie on here, but I don't know what, what letters I'm going to use. But in the end, I decide to go with... Um, some grey alphas from Product Life and these are really old. First I want to go with these from uh, Basic Grey but they are they were missing A's <laughs> so I'm going to go with the grey ones from um, from Product Life. Um, so yeah uh, the book I should talk more about the book I think it was a really great book it is a big book uh, it doesn't look very big, but the version I have have paper, like super, super thin pages. So uh, you read and read and you don't get anywhere. <laughs> but it is a really, really great book. She, I mean, a big part of the book is her talking about her childhood. And I think it's, uh, sometimes it's a bit like you just want her to get on and talk about when she started to write but at the same time it's amazing how much she recalls from her childhood i mean she describes what kind of place she did and uh, toys and all of that and she i mean she grew up in a very um uh, a time where everything changes i mean she was really at the middle of the old time and then the new time when uh, all the technology and cars and telephones and all that and it's so fun to read and for uh, if you can call it a normal person's, uh, I mean, how they transitioned for that. 
um, but it was really really fun to get like a, I think a more accurate look at this really amazing writer and yeah so I added some footstep and like a magnifying glass to one of the labels and then I added some typewriter stickers and that is about it. I'm really happy with this spread. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you will try this book.